Hello boys and girls, men and women of all ages, shapes and sizes. My name is Owen Adams, also known as British Gamer, and this is Last Days of Spring, which is a visual novel on Steam. I'm playing this on my Retina MacBook. Uh, I haven't done a lot of uh, visual novels in my time with the channel, but I got a code for this from the developer and they are promoting their sequel to this game, so they're pushing out codes to the old one and uh, trying to raise a bit of a buzz, so I'll put a link in the video description below to uh, both games if you are interested, and we might as well get started here. New game! I'm guessing these are our cast of characters here. I know this is a really popular genre, but not one I actually uh, have a lot of experience with myself. Yawn. Do I click or do I... Let's pop this off to the side. Wow, this is it, the last week of my high school career. We finished final year exams last week, yet somehow I thought this would feel so much more fulfilling. It feels so normal. Anyway, I woke up earlier than usual as I've been getting up early to study. Looks like I can sleep in a little bit more. It essentially looks like a photo, it doesn't look like a pre-render or anything, so... Nice high quality images. Uh, Saito Kishimi Kishimoto. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Saito. Saito Kishimoto. Noxdar Yuka, you awake? Yeah, you awake, Yuka. Yeah, Dad, good morning. Oh, great, sorry if I woke you up. Can I come in? Uh, I think I'm decent enough, ha huh, ha. Huh? This must be our dad, here we go. All right, Pops, how you doing? Last week of school, you ready? Well, final exams are done, so it's just joke classes now, watching movies in classes, playing games, etc. Don't you do the same with your classes? No, he's serious, look at him. He's a very serious individual. Well, yes, haha, -ha. on that subject, the headmaster wanted me to come in early to help him write a speech for the end of year assembly. So is it cool if we head out to school a bit early this morning? This is a very understanding dad. Sure, no problem. We can do this. Aya Nakano, who says, Hey, you're surprisingly early for school. I guess you decided to kick the habit of coming late, huh? Rep for graduating too. Perfect timing. So we are in our final year, huh? About to graduate. Dad had an early meeting with the headmaster, so we had to come extra early. Is this set in Britain? I see, so have you made your decision yet? About? Yeah, what about? Come on, don't play dumb with me, you know what I mean. Hey, hey, I'm innocent. See? No, I don't. Friday's the last day of our high school day, so we're having the Sunset Festival. Yeah, makes sense. Sunset Festival? I'm sorry you'll have to remind me what it is. I've spent the last six weeks cramming and preparing for final year exams. I don't think my brain had space for this. Oh, Yuka, you gotta pay more attention. Silly, the Sunset Festival, you know, the time-honored Hayabusa Academy end of senior year party. Oh, you mean the one where we all walk on the beach together and watch the sunset? Yeah, I know, it sounds pretty tame and fair, to be honest. Yeah, Yuka's not down with that. Wait, what? No, it's a pretty serious night. It's the one where you finally hook up with whoever you had a crush on, or were flirting with the whole semester. Ooh. I'm going to pick who I was flirting with. Everyone's been putting off dating till exams are over. Time to let loose. Yeah. Cut loose, Yuka. So have you picked a target you are aiming for? Um, no. I don't believe you. That's what you've been saying the whole semester. Oh, Aya's pretty pushy. It's not like you're aiming for someone. As a matter of fact, I am. Okay, who's Aya aiming for? Eh, Aya, Aya? Really? Okay, then who? Fill me in, Aya. I want to know who you're aiming for. I really shouldn't tell. Okay, A is choosing between Keisuke Matsui and Takeo Yamashita. I'm gonna probably butchering these names, but uh, no real surprises there. Keisuke Matsui is the captain of the school soccer team, and Takeo Yamashita has the highest grades in the class. Both are absolutely gorgeous, and half the girls in class have a crush on one or the other, or both. Interesting. How am I not surprised? The two most popular guys in class. Yeah, we've got, we've got standards. Me and Yuka, we're, we're not going for some popular hotties. We want brainy guy. Aya says, I think I stand a pretty good chance with either. Fair enough. She's not kidding. She's one of the most popular girls in the school herself. Class president and widely considered the second prettiest girl in the class. Second, eh? Yuka says, I think you do. Do you have a preference? Not yet. I think I'll find out this week. After all, there's no serious work this week. As the final exams are over, I have the chance to scout around. She's taking this very seriously. Oh, Aya, you're incorrigible. Where's Sayori? I need her take on all this. Where's Sayori? How do you really need to ask? She's downstairs in the practice room. Yeah, where else would Sayori be? Get with the program, Yuka. 
Yuka, you think she didn't even go to this school? Oh yeah, she's been super intense in practicing. She didn't answer any of my texts over the weekend. She didn't answer any of mine either. Ever since she got that invitation to audition for that elite music school in Boston, she's been practicing non-stop. Alright, so not set in Britain. That's fine. It was just the references to, you know, headmaster, things like that. It's okay, this is super important for her, so I think we can let it slide. No, we can't, Yuka. Get with the program. We'll see her at lunch for sure anyway, then we can ask her who she wants to hook up with on the Sunset Festival. Yeah, who am I gonna take to the Sunset Festival? I wanna know which cute boys I'm picking. Aya! Time to go to class. I'll see you at lunch. Or we're going our separate ways. Let's see if we can start meeting our choice of guys. Yuka, how was class? Pretty good. Of course it was pretty good. It was okay. We just watched a movie in English. What else would you do in English class? It's English class. Watch movies in English. I see Sayori isn't here yet. Fair enough. Here she is now. Ah, this is Sayori. Sorry I'm late, guys. Also, I'm sorry I didn't have any answer any texts this weekend. My charger broke and I didn't have time to buy a new one. We've all been there. It's okay, we understand. Things have been pretty intense, huh? This is Sayori Nishimura. Remember how I mentioned before that Aya was the second prettiest girl in our class? Well, Sayora is, Sayori is well... Ooh, can't read today. Sayori is widely considered the prettiest, but isn't anywhere near as popular. This is probably because outside of the school orchestra, Aya and I are the only people she regularly talks to. Aw, little group of friends there. So, Sayori, Yuka was just telling me who she wants to hook up with on the Sunset Festival. Oh, really? Go on, do tell us. <laughs> Yuka says, shut up, I am. Until this morning, I haven't even thought twice about- Yeah, we're not thinking about the Sunset Festival, guys. We have important things to think about. It's okay, Yuka is just being secretive. It will be cool to see who she ends up with on Friday. Yeah, well, I'm guessing that's where this game is going. I gotta set my sights on some boys. Hot Japanese boys. Okay then, how about you then, Sayori? I don't even know if I'll be going to the festival. I've been kinda busy. Yeah, we're not going to the festival. Me and Sayori, we're... We're cool. Like that. How is it that my two best friends are boring? Aw, Aya doesn't like us. She's me. We're not boring. You're boring. Hey, it's not Sayori's fault that she's not over Satoshi yet. That's true. She, he did break her heart. I know all about this, because I get the girls' gossip, you know? Nothing ever happened, you know. Which is why it's best you forget him and set your sights on someone else. Yeah, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a boy competition. I don't know. Aya says, at least promise me you'll come to the Sunset Festival. Oh, we're all gonna go. It's gonna be like American Pie, the ending of the film. Okay, I'll be there. Yuka, come on. Yeah, come on. We gotta find a date. Aw, Sayori doesn't want to come shopping with us. Oh well, she's got to practice. Oh well, what we can do? Yes, I'm always good to go shopping. Alright, let's hit some shops. I'll meet you outside the school gates after class then. I could do that. Oh, we didn't do any school. Just classes and shopping. Ah, the life. I'd forgotten my distant past as a teenage girl. It's a fulfilling time. Yuka! Hey, you ready to go? Now we're just standing here for the fun of it. About that, I'm really sorry, but I just got a text from my mum. She sprained her wrist this morning and needs me to drive her to the doctor. Hey, uh, so selfish. We're supposed to be going shopping. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I hope she's okay. Yeah. It's nothing too major. I'm really sorry, Yuka. Perhaps tomorrow. I was expecting a few more choices, though. I haven't had to choose anything yet. Yuka says, of course, let's go shopping tomorrow. Yeah, we can do this. Oh man, I told Dad and Gonta to go ahead without me. Looks like I have to take the train home. We can do that. We can take the train. We're brave. Yeah, definitely Japan. Kisuke Mitsui. Oh, so this is Kisuke Mitsui. He knows my name. <laughs> I'm blushing. Kisuke, what are you doing here? Is this the train you normally take home? Yeah, questions, questions, questions. Not normally, I just started a new job in the city, so I take this train on the afternoons now. Keisuke, we have so much in common. Oh, what job? That's right, Yuka, get the information. I work at an Okonomiyaki restaurant now. I don't know what Okonomiyaki is. Probably good, it's got nom in the middle of the word. Why? Wow, you must be really skilled. Cooking Okonomiyaki is really hard. Well, Yuka's impressed. Yeah, yeah 
Go for this guy, Yuka. He knows how to cook really hard food. It's not so bad after you get the hang of it. Fair oh, false modesty. It's good you already have a job that should keep you busy before going to college. She wants him out of the way. For some reason, she wants to keep Keisuke busy. Keisuke needs keeping off the streets. I'm not going to college. Oh, not many prospects. I don't think college is for me. Also, I kind of don't see the point. Aw. Of course not. You're handsome and you can cook okonomiyaki. What do you mean? I mean, you keep hearing about the problems with the global financial crisis, millennials not getting jobs, and the whole recession the country has been going through. The Japan of the 1990s is very different to the Japan now, and I think the problem is the older generation doesn't understand that. Wow. Keisuke's got some opinions. Oh. Yuka doesn't just- what? Sorry, that went over my head. They still believe that the future lies in getting into some prestigious company then pledging absolute loyalty. You work there for six days a week, ten hours a day, and jump at whatever command they have for you. That is even if you can find a company to take you in these days. So cynical, Keisuke. Yuka hadn't thought about it that way. Go start planning your life, Yuka. You need to start thinking about these things. It's really tough for people from my generation to get these types of jobs that our parents want us to have. My older brother just graduated from college, heavily in debt from taking out student loans. He's been in an unpaid internship for half a year now with no prospect of a contract anytime soon. I know how he feels. I'm with you, Keisuke. I feel you, my brother. After I saw what happened to him, I told myself, screw that. I'm taking up a trade and making money that way. Screw the rat race. Yeah, Keisuke knows where it's at. I love you, Keisuke. I'm gonna fall for him. If you don't want him, Euchre, I'm gonna take him. Look at these dreamy eyes. Sorry, I guess that got serious really quickly. Nah, it's fine. Actually, I've been asking myself a lot of these questions recently. This is the first I've heard of it. Now I'm living inside your head, Yuka. Don't you lie to him. <laughs> Keisuke says, like what? Well, when you go to school in a place like Hayabusa Academy, there is an expectation that you're supposed to go to some prestigious university, then get a really prestigious job. We spend so much time studying and preparing for college entry exams and working on extracurricular activities, that now that school is ending, I'm feeling a bit empty. Buck up, Yuka. Yes, thank goodness someone else finally gets it. I started thinking this last year, but like saying something like this out loud is poison to your social life in Hayabusa. The only thing worth my time every day was the soccer team, but now that the championship is over, everyone is now in college entry mode and no one wants to play anymore after school. Aw, kinda sucks. Hey, you all got time for the festival. It really sucks, it's as if they only ever played soccer to add it to the CV. There was no love for the spot from them, it really disappointed them. Ah, the soccer playing philosophical on a um, 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 Oh, I've already forgotten what the food's called, that's a shame. Oh, hey, she said that's a shame too. We're, we're on such a way, same wavelength, Yuka. Hey, Yuka, I have to get off of the next stop. That was a seriously cool conversation we had. I kind of had you pegged as your typical Hayabusa Academy student, but I'm glad you proved me wrong. Okay. Yeah, you put things in a really interesting perspective. That's me to him, fair enough. It's cool we take the same train now. Same time tomorrow. Ooh. And we got a date. With philosophical political Keisuka. Sure, see you then. There we go. And then he faded out of existence. Wow, I had no idea that Keisuki was like that. I always thought that he was quiet just because he was your typical jock with nothing to say outside the soccer pitch. I guess you never can really understand someone without talking to them. Anyway, it's pretty cool I got some alone time with him. I know half the girls in Hayabusa would kill for that opportunity. I know I would. Handsome man there. It's still quite early in the afternoon and I don't have any homework or any studying to do. Might as well do something nice. I think I might go get a coffee. Let's do it. Needs coffee. Get us through these long evenings. Oh, who's this? Barista. Hi, welcome to my caravan. That is, that, that is an elaborately dressed barista. Is this coffee shop at a carnival? Alright. Hi. Hello. So what can I get you? Coffee. Ooh. Hmm. Tough choices. Choices, choices, choices. Well, it's pretty late. Hot chocolate. Coming right up. I believe in miracles. Do, do, since you can't. You get it, because that's a song by Hot Chocolate. Yeah. yeah. I'm so funny. Thanks. I've seen you before, right? You're that kid that used to always come here with tons of books, right? Maybe. Yes, I am the infamous library thief. Sounds like me. You're a hardworking kid, I like that. My name is Machiko Hasegawa. Hase Machiko Hasegawa. What's your name? Uh, Yuka. My name is Yuka Kishimito. Kishimito. I know it says up that look. 
Yuka Kishimoto? Yuka Kishimoto. You know all about that. I know the skull. It's a pleasure to meet you. And you, elaborately dressed ringmaster barista. Likewise. So no books today? Nope. I got a date. No, exams are over, so I'm free of books. Free of the curse of books. Oh, okay, yeah, it's nice to have a nice hot drink and relax too, eh? Yes, indeed. Is she coming on to me? Yes, so do you own this cafe? Yes, isn't it wonderful? Business owner, good prospects also. Not like that political Keisuke. Yeah, it is, must be great being your own boss. Of course. You have no idea, kiddo. Before doing this, I was in business administration. I was the secretary to the CEO of a huge cosmetics company. That explains so much. That sounds okay. Whoa, hey, hey. Being rich, it's just okay, right? It was for a few years. The pay and the benefits were surprisingly good. After a while, I got sick and tired of the CEO always screaming ahead of me. Also, all the deadlines and traveling really began getting to me. So you stopped to open a coffee shop in the most relaxed industry in the world. Traveling for business sounds nice, does indeed. It's nothing like traveling for fun, kiddo. We went to Paris for this huge cosmetics conference and I didn't even have time to see the Eiffel Tower. It was awful. Wow. You can, yeah, I mean, you can see the Eiffel Tower from pretty much all over Paris, right? Oh, I get it. I get it. She was that busy, you see. Were the hours long too? They were reasonable. The company was French owned, so the hours were very fair. I actually spent more time here than the cafe. Oh, fair, well, I don't know what she meant then at first, but yeah, she, she works less hours now. We open up for breakfast at 6.30 a.m. We stay open through lunch till dinner and close at night. On Friday and Saturday, we effectively become a bar at night and close at midnight. Trendy spot. But it's a labor of love, so I don't mind. More fun than working at the cosmetics company, eh? Why the hell not? It's always nice to own your own business. Yeah, but no matter what I'm grateful for my time there oh yeah but no matter what i'm grateful for my time there taught me a lot about organization and business management also if i hadn't gone through that path i wouldn't be so sure of what i'm doing today we'll learn a lot about business here nice says yuka she's into the coffee shop business remember that sometimes you have to go through a period of your life doing something you don't really like to find out what you really love the trade-off is worth it absolutely speaking as a youtuber i can confirm that thanks for the advice yeah, thanks for the advice, elaborately dressed coffee shop barista. No problem, kiddo. Oh, here I am yammering away and you're waiting for your drink. Here you go, sweetie. Give me a shout if you need anything else. No, I was enjoying your stories. I like this cafe. I'll be coming around more often now that the summer holidays are around the corner. We should chat more. She'd be like, oh, that kid's back. Asking me questions. She won't ever leave. I wish she'd come back to bring in her books. What an interesting lady. I love how she's dressed. This cafe has a really cool feel to it. I guess I hadn't noticed as I was too busy studying. I'll enjoy my drink, then head home and see what Gonter and Dad are up to. I don't know who Gonter is yet. I don't think we've actually met Gonter in the game yet. Yuka, you're home early. I thought you were going shopping with Aya. Yes, dressing gown, Dad. Her mum sprained her wrist, so she's driving her to the doctor this afternoon. That is where she went. Oh dear, well I hope she gets better soon. Ah, Gunter is our brother. Yuka, you're home early. You can play my new video game with me. You don't have much homework or studying to do, right? That's right, kid. We are graduating. Sure thing, buddy. Let me get changed to something more comfortable first. We can do this. I love my little brother. I'm really going to miss the little guy when I go to college, so I try to spend as much time with him while I can. Maybe it's not too bad that I cancelled shopping. I got to know Keisuke better, and I can spend the evening with my family. Aw. Because you're an adorable family. I feel like heartbreaking drama is going to hit at any moment. Ah, oh, back to the bedroom. Woke up early again, no point just hanging around, might as well get breakfast instead of starving my way through morning classes like I usually do. I'm with you, Yuka. I normally can't eat before 10. I'm terrible. Yuka, we have so much in common. Yuka, you're up early. Well, thank you. I've been waking up early as of late, seems I'm in the habit from when I used to wake up early for exams. Good thing I cooked some extra breakfast. Bacon and eggs sound good. Definitely. Extra breakfast. Yeah, we just had a spare breakfast. <laughs> so today you are going shopping with Aya, right? I don't know. Have we spoken to her? 
Oh, don't tell him that again. We'll be in trouble. Okay, then I'll wake up Gunter. Enjoy your breakfast, honey. Can do, boss. And we are back to school. Oh, it's Sayori. Hi, Yuka. Hello. Hi, Sayori. Are you not practicing this morning? Well, she's still got the flute. The janitors are cleaning up the practice room, so I got kicked out. Aw. I think you needed a break anyway. Yeah. Your flute playing is too good, Sayori. To be honest, any moment spent not practicing is stressing me out. I know how that feels. That's intense. When is your audition anyway? Soon. On Thursday, they're holding the auditions at Koyo Conservatory, so I'll be flying to Kobe on Wednesday evening and spending the evening there before my audition. Wow, so cool! Are you parents going with you? It's obviously a popular destination with the youth. Of course, this is super important for them. Hearing me flute my flute. Music runs deep in Sayori's blood. Both her parents are professional musicians. Her father is a famous composer for films, and her mother is a cellist in the Philharmonic Orchestra. It doesn't even end there. Her elder sister is a singer slash model, and she's married to a famous video game composer. He did the music for the cult hit Silver Creek Falls. Interesting. Quite a lot of biographical detail there. You really want to go, right? I can tell she does. Look at her face. It's the same facial expression she always has. <laughs> the pure joy one. Yeah, why wouldn't I? I don't know. You tell me. If you don't mind me asking, what career path would you pursue if you decided not to be a musician? I really don't know. Really? There is nothing else you'd be interested in? Hmm. She could open a coffee shop. She could give it all up. Open a coffee shop next to the other person's coffee shop. I know it sounds kind of weird, but no. Music and being a musician has been such an integral part of my life that any other career really hasn't been an option. It's a bit like asking me if I'd like to be any other nationality. I'd say no. I'd say no. I only know what it's like to be Japanese, and I'm pretty happy with my life as such. Fair enough. Makes sense. I'm just a bit worried. I've never seen you this stressed before. Yeah, Sayori. Take it easy, girl. Stress is just part of a musician's life. We grow to accept it. Thanks for the concern, though. She's gonna roll with it. She's gonna go far in life. Time for class. See you at lunch. Something exciting must happen in the classes, though. Are we gonna skip straight to lunch again? There are a lot of kids that would give an arm and a leg to have the opportunities in the music industry that Sayora has, so it's not really surprising how hard she's working and how seriously she's taking it. I do worry about her sometimes, and I wonder... She really wants in life. Good question. What do you really want, Sayori? Oh, we are gonna get to see a bit of class. Excitement! Takeo Yamashita. Yuka! This guy's not as... Look, he's... He's got his loose tie, he's got his baggy pants. This guy's the rebel. Hey, Takeo, what's up? Yeah, what's up, Takeo? Looks like Professor Jones is later again. Damn you, Professor Jones! Just because you teach archaeology doesn't mean you can go traipsing around the world, stealing the Ark of the Covenant. What else is new? I don't know. Haha, -ha, yeah, so how do you think you did on final exams? Good, I guess. Or atrociously terrible. One of those two. Probably not anywhere in the middle. Some went better than others. I think English history and economics went quite well. I think I may not have done as well in physics and calculus. Oh. Yuka. Saw that calculus, girl. I think you probably did fine. I think your dad is probably expecting an A for history, says Takeo. What do you know about my dad? What are you asking about? Yuka says, yeah, history is interesting, so I think I did quite well. How about you? I think the exams generally went well. Bit vague there. He's keep keeping secrets. Don't want to talk about his exams. This is poor Takeo trying to be as humble as possible. Everyone in the class knows he's got straight A's, and he knows it as well. Hmm. Suspicious, Takeo. Oh, okay. Try not to smile too much as you say that. Yeah. Knock it down a peg there, Takeo. What? You know you did well. No need to pretend to be humble about it. At least not with me. Yeah, everyone else, humble. Me? Arrogant sod. Okay, you got me there. So I haven't seen you over the past few weeks due to exams. Tell me, which Ivy Leagues have taken you in? All of them. The Poison Ivy League. Wow, not beating around the bush, eh? I want to know. I want to know what prospects you got, Takeo. We're friends, aren't we? You can tell me. Okay. Aw, oh, you feeling shy? You can whisper it if it'll make me feel... You feel better? Takeo and I have an interesting friendship. Until a year ago, we barely knew each other. 
and then on senior year we ended up sharing all but one of our classes, so we ended up relying on each other for notes and homeworks. Also, it didn't hurt that my grades were pretty strong, so the few times Takeo needed to help this year, he relied on me. God knows I got tons of answers from him. Yeah, we're buddies, me and Takeo. He's not political, though. Not political like that handsome Keisuke. I've received offers from Harvard, Stanford, and Yale. What, no Japanese schools? Well, that's pretty impressive, yet still the white stag eludes you. I know, MIT hasn't gone back to me yet, it's so frustrating, but I have to respond to Harvard and Yale by the end of the month. Ooh. MIT boy. Wow, tough decision. I wonder if that's where the other school was going to. The other kid was going to a school in Boston, weren't they? I'm tempted to accept Harvard now, that way I'll be in Boston anyway in case I want to switch to MIT later. I was talking to Sayori about it in an orchestra yesterday and she thought it was a good idea. Ooh, Takio and Sayori, sitting in a tree. That's what we did in high school. We weren't this high achieving or romantic. I went to a poor school. That is the one class we don't share. Takeo is also the lead cello player for the school orchestra, as if he didn't have enough talents already. Alright, Mr. Talented, I'm starting to like you a little bit less, handsome man. That works. Also, it looks like you two won't be in Boston together. That's nice. Aww. Yeah, she has her audition soon. I hope she does well. Berkeley, right? Maybe. Yep, Berkeley College of Music. Pretty impressive, eh? 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 It is the best music school in the world. I think she'll fit right in there. These... These students are getting less and less like me with every story. University of Huddersfield here. Oh, here comes Professor Jones. Dr. Jones, Jones, calling Dr. Jones. Movie time! What are we gonna watch? Oh, I wanted to watch the movie! What did we watch? I wanna know what we watched. Hey, how was class? It was okay, Siri didn't like her class. Boring as hell, but it's okay, it all ends in a few days. How is your mum? She's good, thanks. It was nothing serious. I'll do the little catching up, you see. Get up with the latest stories of the day. That's good to hear. So, we still up for shopping tonight? Of course. Aw, oh, nuts. I promised Keisuke I'd been on the train this afternoon. I think I may have a cunning plan. We'll take the train to the shopping? Sorry again, it's my last night before I fly to Kobe, so my music teacher is coming over and we're running over audition places. Say so Ari's out of here. She's not doing it. Oh yeah, it's okay, so you won't be coming to school tomorrow then. Yeah, it's end of year anyway, so it's okay to miss these days of class. I'll be missing history class with your dad tomorrow, Yuka. Please apologize for me. Nah, you're on your own, Sayori. Don't worry about it, he's super chill about these things. Yeah. He's so cool. We have the cool dad as well. And the awesome little brother. Yuka has such a charmed life. Jealous of you, Yuka. So we won't see you till Friday then. Yeah, my parents want to grab dinner with some of their conservative friends, so we won't be flying back till late at night. Hey, it says, oh, we'll miss you. Meet us outside before you head out, okay? Sure. All right, let's do some shopping. Come on, Thomas Brody Sangster. Let's get out of here. So this is it. This is it. Have a safe journey and a good luck. Knock it out of the park. Do a great interview, Sayori. Have a fantastic life. Text us when you're done and make sure you get some beef whilst you're there. Kobe is famous for beef. Wagyu beef, in fact. Thanks for being so awesome. I'll see you all on Friday. I can't wait for the Sunset Festival. Sunset Festival. It's coming. It's coming closer. I haven't got a date yet. Well then, shall we go to the city to go shopping? Let's do it. Oh, I just remembered. I left my wallet at home. Can we swing by my place first before we take the train into the city? I can lend you money if you like. Oh, rich air. It will only be a minute. I also want to check on something at home. Okay, then lead the way. This is a scheme. Scheme to get on that Keisuke train. What am I looking to buy in the city? I don't know. My dad wants to look at some temples in Cambodia for his history thesis, so it looks like I'll be going there for the summer. I want to buy a new backpack. I'll need something quite durable. Yeah, why not? That's nice. I want to get a new bikini. Summer is around the corner. I think my family might go to Okinawa for a while. Gotta have a bikini. We should also plan a trip together, see if Sayori can finally make some time. Here he is! There's handsome, scary eyes, man. Keisuke! Hey guys, you heading to the city too? Yes, indeed. I didn't know you took this train. I don't normally, but with soccer practice, yep, got it. That's not what he said yesterday. I have time to run some errands for my mum before I got home. He said he had the job as the chef. Suspicious. I left my wallet at home, so we're passing by my house before we go to the city. We're not doing that. We're cheating. 
We are indeed going shopping. Exams are finally over, we can relax. <laughs> I love the innocence of this game, I'll be honest. I mean, you just read the story, follow it along, it's a visual novel. You should join us, we'll be really fast getting Yuka's wallet, want to come have dinner with us. Man, I'd love to, but I'm not going to the city to buy ingredients for dinner at home, I'm really s Oh, but I'm going to the city to buy ingredients for dinner at home. I'm really sorry, maybe during the summer holidays, we'll all have loads of tons of time, right? Oh, what a shame, well in case you change your mind, we'll be shopping in Shibuya. Shibuya! Kazuki says, sure. Come on, Kazuki, Mr. Political. Life's too short. Yeah, we're going on a summer trip. We were thinking maybe we can go to Yokohama or maybe Nagoya. My mum is originally from Nagoya, there that would be awesome. Yeah, what ingredients are you getting? I want to know how to make you that onom onomamayaki. Onomayaki. Onomayaki. I've already forgotten what he makes. My brother's fiance has come to visit and wanted to cook us something American. She needs a special type of barbecue sauce and I can only find it in the city. Fair enough. Wow, sounds tasty. Is your brother's fiance good at cooking American food? She should be. She's from there. Ho <laughs> ho! And your future sister Laura is American. This seems very interesting. Yeah, he met her when he went to college in the US. Are they going to get married soon? I want to know all about Keisuke's sister in law. Remember, I was telling you about my brother. Well, he's waiting till he has a full-time job. Then they're going to get married. Fair enough. All right, Kasuki's off. It's just me and you shopping now. We're going to get the best goddamn backpack in the world. I'm telling you. Take care. See you later, Kasuki's out of here. I'm going to get some time alone. I guess getting in the way of my chatting up Kasuki. Strange. Keisuke seemed a bit reserved. I guess he didn't want Aya to know about his job at the Okonomiyaki restaurant. There we go, Okonomiyaki. I wonder why. That's pretty cool we got to see Keisuke. Handsome, isn't he? He's very handsome. His eyes stare into my soul. Soul. Stay away from him, Thomas Sangster. Ooh, ooh, okay. I get to pick. Yeah, he's mine. Athletic too. I can see why so many girls have a crush on him. Anyway, it's a shame he couldn't join us. Perhaps later on. Good thinking with the trip during summer break. It will be cool if he can join us. This is your stop, right? Let's go get your wallet and get back on before the rush hour hits. Right, let's do that. We can do it. Wow, this looks nice. Is this in Japan too? I'm guessing all the pictures are of Japan, but what a lovely street. The lights and the trees. Wow, this is so cute. Let's go in here. Say the word, Aya. We've already been to so many shops. Aya, I am tired. Yeah, I'm tired. I haven't got my backpack yet. Last shop promise, then we can sit down and go get coffee or something. Ooh, we're gonna go to the coffee shop with the cool barista. Oh. Stranger. Hey, uh. Yuri, what are you doing here? These two know each other, fair enough. I felt like wandering into your side of Tokyo. Cool, Yuka, this is my cousin Yuri. Yuri, this is Yuka. Yuka reminds me of sort of... Luna Lovegood. It's a pleasure! Likewise, Yuri goes to the Suzume Academy in the west part of Tokyo. It's an art school, right? Looks a bit like an artist. Yep. Wait, you walked here? How west in Tokyo do you live? I'm from Narima. I don't know where that is. That's like a two hour walk. That's insane. Please, she pulls crazy stunts like this all the time. I've done that. I walked two hours into a city once in the middle of the night because I thought I'd get into a nightclub. I didn't. It's true, I can't help it. I just love walking around without a specific destination. Who knows what adventure I'll get into next. That's so cool. Lots of exercise for sure. That explains why she's so slim. Yeah, right. Screw paying for a gym. Stick it to the man, Yuri. Got it. Narima, I know that word quite well. That's where a bunch of animation studios are based, right? Yeah, Toei Mushi Gallop Tons. I hope to work around Narima after I finish college. Yeah, you want to get into Toei if you can. That's awesome. It is awesome. Yeah, if you girls are ever around Narima, I'll show you around. Let's go to Narima! Let's go now! Animation! I want to go get some Toei animation. We're about to go get coffee. Care to join us? I'm okay. I should start walking back home soon. It was cool seeing you all. Yeah, that's the only problem with walking hours in a single direction. Eventually, you gotta head back. That was a weird encounter. She's a bit weird, eh? Yeah, you said that before. Yeah, will be nice. I guess she is a fun person, I'll give you that. 
Anyway, let's get some coffee. I need some energy. Don't we all? Hiya! See you later. Go. Oh, we've got home. Hi, Yuka. Welcome home. Is he meeting me outside? Hey, Dad, what are you doing out here? He is meeting me outside. Felt like a bit of fresh air. The moon is really beautiful this time of year. It's a nice night, isn't it? Sure. Did you have fun in the city? Yeah, I picked up a bag for a trip to Cambodia. Let's take a look. He's very, very good, very sturdy. <laughs> of course, we'll be in the hotel in Siem Reap every night, so it's not like we're camping, but this will serve nicely for when we go to look at the temples. I like this sort of mildly, like, condescending. You don't really need this bag, but sure. Yeah, I heard it's really hot and humid down there. Yes, we'll need to carry a little water. Are you excited to go? Yeah, sure. We want to go to Cambodia. Of course, we haven't been out of the country for a few years now. A few years now? Sounds like they go all the time. I guess I'm responsible for that, eh? Well, when I finish this thesis and finish my PhD, I'll be able to move on to being a university professor. Then we'll have all the time to travel. We will indeed. I love how the options of they've actually really gradually waited to put the options in. So you kind of got engrossed in the story. It's kind of clever. Sounds great, Dad. I'm a bit tired. I'll go to bed now. Sure, I'll be up later. Good night, darling. There's a nice feel to it. The text all seems to be... Good morning, Yuka. Reasonably well characterized. Everyone has a personality and stuff. Good morning, Dad. Wow, waking up early really has become your thing. Two days in a row, Dad. Don't, don't count on it. I like it. I may make it a new habit of mine. On your last day of school, too. The irony of it all. So what's for breakfast? About that, I wanted to ask you something. This sounds ominous. About breakfast? No, no. Do you want to skip school today? What? Who are you and what have you done with my father? No, the she said earlier he was pretty cool about that kind of thing. I'm serious. The principal has asked me to drive to Saitama to pick something up, and I figured it would be nice to have you along for the drive. We can get breakfast somewhere nice too. Yeah, do it. Okay then, you're cool with me skipping class and everything? Yeah, sure, as you said, they're just joke classes or exams are over anyway. I actually think you'll learn way more on the drive up to Saitama than just watching a film in class. Hey. Hey. I wanted to see Ace Ventura when nature calls today in English class. I want to drive with you, Dad. Ah, but this is, this is a world where everybody's kind of perfect. We can live with this. You can take the teacher out of school, but can't take the school out of the teacher, eh? That's how I'm built. Built like a scary, scary jungle man. Okay, then. Let's do it. Cool, we'll drop off Gontra at school first, then we'll go. Don't tell him where we're going. Shh, don't tell that. Don't tell the little kid. Can't he come too? He has a field trip to the zoo today. I'd hate for him to miss out on that. <laughs> yeah, to the zoo. Conveniently timed there. Why would he why wouldn't he ought to tell him then? He wouldn't miss it, he'd be going to the zoo. He'll prefer the zoo. It would be nice to see the cherry blossoms there. It's nearly April and they are beginning to blossom. Cool, let's go. Let's do it. Cherry blossoms. Oh, they're kind of pretty. Little pink flowers. That ramen place was awesome. We should bring Awesome. Awesome. That ramen place was awesome. That ramen place was awesome. We should bring Gonta too one day. Yeah, we should. Yuka, I wanted to talk to you about something. Oh, Dad's getting serious. What's up, Papa? I spoke to the guidance counselor the other day. She told me that you hadn't filled in your graduation game plan yet. Oh yeah, I guess I forgot. With all the prep for final exams, it must have slipped my mind. Please tell Mrs. Sonata that I'll bring it to her on Thursday. It's too late. I know you, Yuka. You're very organized. I doubt you would have let this slip your mind. You haven't filled in the sheet because you don't know what to write. Am I correct? Maybe. That sheet is a pile of crap. I've been telling Mrs. Sonata to stop making students fill it out for years. Yeah, it's dumb. You're all 18. How the hell are you supposed to really know what you want to do with your lives? Oh, Dad, you always say just the right thing. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, I really enjoy teaching at Hayabusa with its academic culture and the fact that I get a lot of the smartest and best behaved kids in the country. I get to teach history to kids that pay attention and want to do well. It's a dream job for any high school teacher. That's why you look so smug, you see. The thing I can't stand is the pressure they put on the students. I can't stand the whole culture of telling kids they need to aim for a certain school and if they don't get there, they'll be a failure. I can't stand how they try to make kids act like they're in an office and try to dissuade them from dating and going out and partying. Yeah, thank you, Daddy Cool. 
I mean, I do love the fact that this culture has also stopped drugs and alcohol from being a big thing in students' lives, but I worry about some of the students, like they'll go wild once they go to college. He's a very understanding man. Even the Sunset Festival, it's so sad you spent your whole school career liking someone and then if you are lucky enough to have them reciprocate your feelings on that day, you get a short relationship that ends if you both, both of you go to different colleges. It is kinda dumb, eh? I agree with you, Dad. The whole thing's a crock. It's what I think, but no matter what I want you to make decisions for yourself, obviously listen to what your teachers and peers say, but also make your own decisions. Not knowing what you want to do with your life is okay. Not knowing what college you want to go to is okay. Aww. You're a nice guy. Take a gap year if you like and really explore different career paths and find what fulfills you and makes you happy. You've worked really hard and have had awesome grades and keep up with the competition at Hayabusa. I think you deserve time to yourself to have some fun and explore yourself. Aww. Under the cherry blossoms. You say such things, sweet things, papa. I love you, dad. I love you too, darling. Don't know why. Did the voices that way around? I can live with it though. So make me a small promise. For the love of God, please fill in that ridiculous graduation career plan suit sheet so Miss Sonata will leave me alone. <laughs> I'm onto you, Diz. Is that what it was all about? It was all about, Dad. You don't care about me at all. Sure. Ha <laughs> ha! I'll do it tonight. And with that, I think it's time we leave Yuka Kishimoto. Um, I've never really played a visual novel before. This is a very novelly, novelly one. It mostly focuses on the story and, uh, choices. It was an interesting play. I, I like stepping into genres I don't really play and learning a little bit more about them. Um, it does have a lot of the, the, the Japanese kind of cultural tropes I know tend to follow, you know, the, the posh school, the the perfect lives, but it's, it's kind of sweet, the innocent of it. I think if you're into this genre, you probably really like this. And like I say, they've got a sequel coming out, so Check the video description below if you want to see the links to those, and uh, I'm not going to spoil the ending for you. And I'm not going to tell you who I choose to take to the festival, because I think you already know. And I'm getting out of here. My name is Owen Adams, also known as British Gamer, and if you check the video description below, you will find lots of lovely information about how to get in touch, and anything else you might want to know. And I'm out of here. Bye-bye!